Today I want to tell you my story of developing graphics using WebGL during last 10 years. Traditionally, as it happens, uh, I was inspired a lot uh, with the uh, first games I played, like uh, Gothic, uh, Stronghold, Common and Conquer, and the best way to start may be Unity. No thanks, I choose life. 2000 years later. Actually no, so I picked the hard way and tried uh, to do some graphics uh, using DirectX, OpenGL and other complicated stuff. So for quite a long time I just uh, became a web developer without using any graphics. But uh, at some point uh, I noticed the browser games and it looked uh, like quite a nice uh, opportunity to come back uh, with my graphics knowledge. Are you sure? This is called WebGL. During that period, a new technology called WebGL was uh, released in Chrome at first and later in other browsers. It allowed to render graphics right inside your browser and it sounded awesome because you can deliver your games right to the user without downloading anything and it was super. At least at the beginning it sounded like this. After some research and attempts I understood that uh, it takes lots and lots of time to make anything uh, even small using just WebGL and after this I noticed uh, a popular library uh, called 3GS which was uh, a graphics engine and uh, it took uh, all of the complicated parts uh, of graphics rendering and management and behold after two short years of development uh, my multiplayer browser RTS game was almost finished at least I thought so it required a lot of complicated stuff like pathfinding, uh, rendering optimizations, networking etc and it uh, was uh, really hard to implement and the most complicated part was pathfinding because a lot of units uh, needed to count their passes and uh, I didn't know about clocking at that time so it was a breaking deal for the game and uh, I suspended it. After this giant fail I understood that the project was just a tiny bit too large for me and I need to focus on some smaller, more real projects I can manage to finish. So after a dozen of prototypes uh, I was not satisfied with them uh, and uh, at some point I got an idea to make a clone, a very simple clone of uh, uh, World of Tanks game and uh, yeah, so it was called Dead Tank and it was uh, even released, had uh, quite a lot of updates, it was uh, running during uh, two or three years and uh, at it top uh, point uh, it had uh, 10k users per day and maximum 200 uh, parallel uh, players. This is not a complete success as uh, I expected. Uh, I didn't earn uh, a lot, maybe 1k USD from the ads, but uh, it was totally worth it because uh, I had the experience of uh, running and managing uh, a game with players. It was quite interesting journey, but at some point uh, I just got bored uh, with the same uh, game and I decided uh, that I need to move on and make something even more interesting and maybe more complicated. So I started with uh, uh, the project called Iconix. So I started working with Iconix project uh, just when Corona struck, so I had quite a lot of time. Uh, so I took the code base from Dead Tank. Uh, it had multiplayer code, uh, management uh, of uh, items, and uh, quite a lot of other stuff. Uh, by the way, it had uh, advanced system of uh, handling UI. So the UI was completely rendering in WebGL and uh, not uh, HTML element, which added a lot of smoothness uh, to the appearance of the UI. At first the game was pretty simple, it had just a really basic uh, combat system. Uh, the graphics was uh, pretty poor, but I didn't need a lot uh, at the beginning, because it would be hard to manage everything. But uh, time has passed, uh, almost uh, two years uh, spent for the game, and you can see how it changed uh, from the red cube uh, instead of unit. Two really nice looking units with post-processing 
and some efforts. So as you can see a lot of progress was done with the Konex game since I started developing it and maybe 5 or 10 years uh, more and I would finish it and release but as you know how they say uh, the final destination is not that interesting as the journey itself. I just enjoyed uh, the developing process and solving complicated problems. But one day everything changed, 24th February 2022 to be exact. It happened that I live in Ukraine and exactly that day Russia started war against Ukraine and after 2 or 3 months of waiting for some stability I started developing a spin-off game from Iconix called Azovs. It uses quite same code base and uh, is a tower defense uh, game in browser uh, which is also multiplayer uh, where you and your teammates uh, uh, fight against orcs uh, waves which are coming from all of the sides and the target is uh, to get alive uh, as long as it's possible and uh, you can see in the video uh, how far I got with it and I'm pretty happy with uh, the progress As a summary, after 10 years of uh, developing using WebGL, I can say that there's literally no limit to get better or learn something new. Uh, I can clearly see that each game uh, gets uh, better and better, and uh, probably you see it too. So I hope you liked the video, so please click like and subscribe, and see you in my next video.